welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on a very rainy day, but it's still lovely and warm, so absolutely no complaints from me. Today, I hope, anyway guys, I really do hope that you're all coping well. Different parts of the world have got harder hardships than some. Some are finding it not so bad and lots are finding it very difficult to cope with. And I really do um, hope that you're all okay. So please, uh, yeah. My best wishes to you all. Today, today, let's get down and paint dirty. Okie doke. I am trying again these high flow paints from Global. They are available worldwide on Amazon or if you're in Australia, um, Capri or Shabby Chic, the link is below. And I've tried them before and they work really well if you want to kind of do marbling effects and things as such because they're very runny paints but very, very highly pigmented. But of course I want to push the boundaries and do kind of something a bit different look at that that the fluoros at you know in the global whether it's the impasto they are so bright so i was asked by somebody I'm not sure who because oh you forget when there's so many comments to get through you know do something in kind of the same shades all that so these are all kind of pinky oranges pinky orange that's a, like an um, that one was the carmine red, but uh, because I've put it with my pouring medium, it looks a bit dull, but I'm sure it will brighten up when it's dry. So I've got the, I will tell you the colours as I use them, and let's just get down and paint, hey? So I'm going to try and do like a half, well, not quite a half, maybe a three quarter white. So I will do this. So this is just the pouring medium. This is just mixed up with global impasto, the white I used with the pouring medium that I've listed down below in the description box. Now this is a black mixed up with navy blue because it actually makes a blacker black. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that is a bit thick. Ooh, ooh that's really thick. Let me see, I'll spread my white, loving my offset spatula, I have got a bigger one to do my big canvases but this uh, smaller one is great, oh, got a gooby wooby in there, that's a bit, okay, that's fine, and then this is very thick, that's way too thick, so I need to add some water to my mix in there so i've just been like mixing in those one liter squirty bottles just for you know the colors that you use the most which i it's not always black and white because i use all the other colors but they usually kind of start off my base color um that's way too thick i think i think maybe it's not if i do a certain style so i will keep plenty on there I might add some water to this when I've taken a bit out of the container. But I think I can go with it because it is it is quite thick, but it, it probably would be really good for something where you're doing um, balloon embellishing. Not that balloon embellishing needs to be really thick, but it's sometimes a bit better on the thicker side. Because you... Anyway. Anyhow... Let's just play with paint. I'm going to worry about my edges after because they're the boring bits, but I can always finish edges off after I finish painting, so that's not a problem. I am going to put some more white down for my layer there. And I'm going to... See, so this is not too thick, so this is quite runny but I'll see how I go let's just see how I go so that so it's sinking straight into that white because the white is runny but the black is not so two different consistencies so we just wing it oh what was that one that was the 
elderberry fluoro pink now this is the dioxine dioxacine purple which will come out so much purpley yeah so I was kind of asked to keep the same um, in the same group of colours and see how it come out so there you go I'm doing it this is that fluoro orange so I might keep this on the black side would look really nice pushed out over the black now I'm going to try my little um, mini blower and I have been sent by the lovely Stephanie who sends me some lovely things and she absolutely does not have to it's another attachment Ooh, for the mini blower so it it's got that wider blow thing so you put it on your mini blower so you can get the mini blower from the um, link I have below and I will try and find out I think Stephanie has added where she got this attachment from so I'll give it a go hey this is with my mini blower so I think I would really like to add a little bit of the um, oh no no I won't I was gonna add the um, bit of the Amsterdam and flow troll to give me cells but I won't I'm just gonna go over with my big chubby wand heat wand uh, get rid of any air bubbles I've got a few of these heat ones and this I just find them so much better than butane torches just a lot safer I believe so either way always have a fire extinguisher in a paint and chemical area I would say so let's see how this how this works if I can control this better because it's just a mini thing so I have to watch that I don't put my Okay, let's do this slow. Ooh. Oh, so much slower, so much easier to control. Oh, look at that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Wow, Jesus. Oh, this is a nice little blower, Steph. Thank you very much. I'll just try and have a look at the card quickly because it only came in the mail today but I was so excited to use it because Stephanie sends me some lovely things and she absolutely doesn't have to um, and she's not a trader or anything so thank you Steph, I appreciate it it's not blowing so well you see over this black because the black is too thick so I'll save that side for doing something different so but loving this that you're in control of it a lot better than I am with a big fat hair dryer in me Donnie's oh why do you tap slap me hand stop me from doing any more I'm just having fun oh my goodness that's super duper look at that so that's the high flow in my pouring medium now it's going to be interesting if I add a bit more over this side for some little balloon duvelakin you know because this can be definitely my uh, chance to do mixed techniques so I've done the kind of a Dutch pour I've done a pour and um. I am doing a, I'm going to try and set this up to see if I can do my balloon embellishment a bit more over the black area because my paint was just too thick um, to do, there we go, yeah it was just too thick to blow over this black so you need your paint thinner for the Dutch pour effort but look at this look at the cells I mean I didn't actually think that I'll get this from the high flow just letting this dribble because I don't want to put too much in it but I want to do some little balloon embellishments in here I think it'll be nice yeah 
it, I might have to let this dry off a little bit because um, because the balloon may not um, it may be too runny for balloon work yet so we'll, we'll give it a go though I'm just adding some of the white in this sign but this is pretty exciting because that is stunning stunning thank you so much Stephanie and I will grab the card to see where Stephanie had this if she's included in the pack I was so excited and <laughs> pulled it out thought gotta go gotta go gotta go and um use it okay let me move some gear so I can get my little balloon magic going I'm gonna try um both sort of this size balloon and me little balloon that's got water in it so move me gadgets out the way let's give this a go that's just pushing all the paint out the way but that black is way too thick should I or shouldn't I Ooh. It's okay that it's falling in for me because I will go back over the same areas and embellish it further. It just makes sure that you wipe off your balloon in between every balloon kiss because you'll just uh, muddy up the paints if you don't. But, but, but I've got some plans, I've got some plans. That's enough of that one because I'm going right through to the black now. So just going to go over with my teeny tiny balloon because that sort of puts some awesome little effects in the center and that's all right what I've got up here because that's absolutely fine but I think go back over these that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous that's exciting exciting that the high flows worked with it, me creating a medium that worked with them I like having the solid bits there I might just see what a few got a teeny tiny bit of um, I do a few card slides I just want to do very thin card slides so I'm just going to cut a piece of card thinner Thinner, 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 thinner chicken dinner. This is just the Amsterdam paint mixed with a bit of Floetrol. I do not measure anything. It was just put in a bit of Amsterdam paint, a bit of Floetrol. And I just want to see if I can get any, just to add any kind of laziness in this black, just to take the starkness out. I know a lot of people think, leave the black, but you know, just love it absolutely love it so there you go combine your techniques guys don't just do a pour a flip cup a, a um, dutch pour look combine them how brilliant is it to, oh my giddy oh that is that's pretty lovely oh just hoping this dries well really really hope it dries well I think I could do with a little bit more colour in there but I'm going to let it dry off and then I might drop a spot of colour and then go over with my little teeny tiny balloonio. There you go. I'm done. Smack my hand. Get me away from it please. That's just that little bit of Aussie slides. It's, I call it Aussie slides because I'm using Australian flow troll. So that is why. And people say my Aussie slide. I'm sliding a card, I'm using Aussie flow troll, so it's an Aussie slide. Everybody names something silly. That is absolutely stunning. Absolutely. I've just got too much black here, but I will fix it and I need to let it dry off. But in the meantime, I'm going to bring you down and have a look at that lace because it is beautiful. 
Well, there you go. Look at this. Look at it. <gasps> that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Stephanie Hancock, you are the bomb. Always send me the good things to try. So, um, take it up here for a, the big one. This is a 60 by 30 canvas. So it's quite a nice size. Show you my Aussie slide. Look at that. How just delicate and just adds another point of interest for the eye to go to. I'm going to do something because I'm not quite happy with those black splodges. So I'll just add a bit of colour, but not yet, when it dries off a bit, a bit more of the colour and then just press me teeny tiny water balloon. Balloon magic, me water balloon. Okie doke, wait on for the end and see how it dries. Fingers crossed that it dries well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be back again tomorrow um, with another pour, so stay safe, people. Until tomorrow, take care. Bye for now.